15 points. Oh, yeah. This is not over. What are you so mad about? You said to consult the dictionary. I can't believe that soda light is a word. It sounds like a joke. <gasps> well, we can tell whether something is valid or not without checking. Fine, I'm sorry. That's okay. Speaking of valid, our uploader has some issues with validity. Oh, no! Hmm, really? How? You see, she's in the middle of writing a research paper, but she doesn't know which sources are valid and which are not. Oh, so do we have a dictionary for that? Unfortunately, we don't. Oh, no. it's okay. I'm sure we'll figure something out, right? We have also discussed in the previous episodes, accurate and precise data are the key elements to a good research work. The validity and accuracy of your data requires authentic and reliable sources. There are several ways of checking whether our data are valid and accurate. And because a researcher always values his or her data's accuracy, these tips will be very helpful. Check this out. Books and journals are usually safe sources of data because they have information gatekeepers. These are the editors and the expert consultants who examine a manuscript before it is published in a journal or book. Sometimes though, information in books may be irrelevant to the context of your research. Western cultural nuances are not always applicable to Asian cultural practices, so a book published in the States may not always be relevant to a research on an ancient Philippine tribal practice. Also, take note of the time when the book was published. It may be obsolete or the information given may have been updated by more recently published books. But most of the time, because of the ease, and sometimes just plain laziness, we just go to the World Wide Web. Here are the five W's of cyberspace. Who is the source of the information? Has somebody taken responsibility for the content of the website? Is information about the author or organization clearly stated? Can you confirm that the company or author is a credible, authoritative source of information? What are you getting? Is the information biased in any way? Does the site offer links to alternative viewpoints? Does the information seem complete and consistent? When was the site created? Is it important that the information you're looking for be absolutely current? Is a reference date provided to show when the material was put online or when it was last updated? Do the links work? Where is the site located? Free web hosting is usually unreliable because this means that an individual or an independent group is working on it. It is best to use government websites or academic websites because we can be sure that the web developers consult experts before publishing their data. Why are you here? Check yourself. Can you get the information you need faster offline? Do the information you're getting actually suit your needs? Can you verify your information? Checking for your data's accuracy is like building a house. Make sure you have the right materials. Make sure that the materials are fresh. If you're buying materials from someone, make sure the vendor is trusted. Who is the source of information? Where is the site located? Make sure you have the right tools. With the right materials, tools, and process, your family is sure to love and enjoy your new house. Same is true for any research paper. Given the complete and accurate information, the right motivation and concept, anybody is sure to deliver killer research papers. 